Hello! Today I want to explain how to use Google Scholar effectively. I also like to remind you that you should not pay for articles. You can get articles for free. Before I go ahead and set up the search, I will show you how to configure your settings and make sure that RIT Libraries is checked off. In your search results, you will see links to our subscriptions, and the full article will show up. Let us go to Google Scholar. In the corner, I will click on the three lines Scroll down to Settings. Click on Library Links. I see I already have RIT as well as World Cat. Suppose I want to find articles on medical interpreting and deaf patients. I'll go ahead and type in my keywords now. Suppose I want to narrow my results to the last five years. I will go to the left-hand column and change the years that I want. We have some results. The first one looks like it's available already through RIT. I will click and show you what it looks like. I notice it says PDF in the right column. Go ahead and click on that. You'll find the full article. Suppose I want the second title. It doesn't look like it's available through RIT, but let us click on it and see how I can find that information. It says that I have to pay for that specific chapter in the book. The book is called the Handbook of Research on Medical Interpreting. Maybe we have that book. If we do, then you can find the chapter. So what do I do now? I go back to the library homepage and I look up the title in the library catalog to see if we have that book. I will copy that book title. Make sure that you click on the catalog tab. There are no results. It means that we do not have the book. So what do I do now? I can request the book chapter 
by using Interlibrary Loan, or ILL. I go to the library homepage and click on the Services tab in the upper right. I will click on Borrow from Other Libraries. I click on that link and sign in. If you've not yet used ILL, you will need to fill out the registration form. Just the first time. It's only one time. You won't have to do it after that. Then from there on, you can order free articles and books. This is a book chapter. I will click on book chapter in the left column. I've already copied the book title, so I'll just go ahead and paste it. I'm only filling out the fields with the red asterisk, or the required fields. I will skip and go down to pages. How do I find the page numbers of that specific chapter? Well, I have to click on the table of contents. I found it, see? It's on pages 355 to 374. Now it asks for the chapter title. I can copy and paste that. Notice the date and the year says 2021. You do not want that. Put down the date that you need it by. You can put down today or tomorrow or whenever you need it. Suppose I need it tomorrow. Then send your request. When the chapter is ready, it will be sent to your account and you can download the chapter. I suggest you save it to your desktop or a folder. This is because it will expire after a specific number of days. How do you find that? You can find that in the left column it says electronically received articles. It will look like this. You can click on the PDF and view your chapter.
That sums up how you can find articles for free using our ILL services when you find them on Google Scholar.